Hey guys, it's Kyle again, and this is the LW3A1 Frostline in Black Ops 6. So we're back on more Black Ops 6. We've got the first sniper here you unlock in this game, the LW3. This is also known as the L96 from Black Ops 1. It was also in Cold War technically as the Tundra. But yeah, this sniper is pretty good. And I've ranked this gun up enough to get my best possible class with it. So I'm going to show you the class and then we're going to get into a few games. Showing how good this thing really is. So yeah guys, as always, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Alright, so this is my class. You may notice I've got 8 attachments. And that is because I'm using the wild card. If you want 8 attachments on any gun, just use the gunfighter wild card. I believe you unlock this at level 33. If you don't have this wild card unlocked yet, then the five attachments I would use would be these five. The magazine, the comb, stock, laser, and fire mod. I would just use these five, if you can't use these three as well. But apart from that, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you want to see me make an iron sight video with this gun. But yeah, these are the perks I use, and yeah guys, enjoy the video. Alright, so we've got the LW3. <laughs> I'm playing on a map called Protocol. This is my first time playing this map. I've played almost every single map in the game at this point. Running a suppressor on this is key. We've got a whole section on the ground. Oh. This gun feels so good. I still get a fair few hit markers with it. It's a bit annoying, but it's not horrendous. Yeah, this map is a bit big. I don't think this map will play well unless everyone's going to the same areas all game. But yeah, we got gold on this thing. I've got nearly 50 headshots with the SVD. I'm working my way through the camos with the snipers first. I'm going to rank all the snipers up, make some camo videos. I'll make a few versus videos comparing these snipers of this game to the Modern Warfare 3 snipers. Probably not going to make a zombies video, but I will play it at some point. But yeah, I'm still liking the game so far. I've still not hit a quad feed with this yet, but I have hit a quad feed with the SVD. I've not even been thinking about quad feed with every gun yet. I'll get that video done eventually, maybe within a month. But for now, I'm just trying to have fun on the game. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this gun. Do you enjoy sniping on this game? Gold looks really good on Rewind. Really nice. I don't know. I was wondering where everyone is. They're all camping. People being AFK doesn't help as well. I missed having the OG prestige system. I'm glad that we got the 10 prestige system back again. But it takes a while to rank up. I mean, as expected. Ah yes, this was the hard point I hit the 5 on, on, on the beta. But yeah, as for the wild cards, the 8 attachment one, gunfighter I think it's called, it's the way to go with it. Unless you want to do something specific like use two snipers on one class and then obviously use overkill. But I'm probably just going to run this this year. Well, at least for now. I don't know when I'm going to unlock Dark Matter. I don't even know if I'm going to go for the Zombies camos this year. Didn't last year. I think I made one attempt at doing an Assault Rifle on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And I got stuck on a challenge where you had to kill a special type of zombie with fire or something like that. I couldn't be bothered figuring it out, so I just gave up straight away. But I think when I've done absolutely everything you can do on multiplayer, I might try and grind zombies. I might play Plunder on Warzone and go for the Warzone Mastery camo. Assuming that Plunder will still be in the game this year. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I always say, if you are new around here, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and I will see you on the next video.